So Disney has released the first official image from the very controversial adaptation of Snow White, which is kind of pathetic that it's so controversial when you think about it, considering this is the very first piece of material Disney has put out for the film, and the controversy has been going on for several months before this image was even revealed, and it's a fairy tale film that many people are taking so gravely serious, it's not that deep. However, I guess I may be a bit of a hypocrite to say that, because I have expressed my own concerns about the film, but I think my worries are marginally more valid than the lunatics who are harassing Rachel Zegler for being cast as Snow White, and uh, I won't go down that rabbit hole in this video. I suggest you check out my other Snow White videos to get a full grasp on my thoughts on the film, what I'm skeptical about, what I'm optimistic about, etc, etc. But let's talk about this new image that has clarified a lot. So, as you can see, it's Rachel Zegler's Snow White surrounded by the seven dwarfs in the cottage. And right off the bat, what I have to say is, thank God, thank God, because we all were under the impression that the iconic Seven Dwarfs were not in the film and had been replaced by these ridiculous looking bandit characters, which yikes. Now we don't absolutely know for certain if the initial intent actually was to replace the dwarfs with these bandit characters, and after all the backlash from the public, um, maybe Disney decided to pull a Sonic the Hedgehog, switch gears, and get rid of the bandits, replacing them with CGI dwarfs. That's what I initially assumed the case was, especially because, along with this image, Disney announced that the release date of the film had been pushed back a full year to March 2025, which seems quite excessive, considering filming wrapped in summer 2022, and this dramatic pushback implies a lot of work still needs to be done on the film, and I don't think the SAG strike would impact the release date this drastically, but apparently the rumor is that both the dwarfs and the bandits were intended to be in the film from the beginning. The seven dwarfs are Snow White's posse, and the seven bandits are her love interest's posse, but... Whatever the case, thank god they're here, because removing the dwarfs would be an issue on multiple levels. So yeah, they're here, but what do I think about how they look? Well, from a design perspective, and design perspective only, I'm very happy with the approach. They could have easily been depicted as creepy, dirty old hobbit men, but thankfully they look cute, sparkly-eyed, and fantastical, distinguishing that these are mythical dwarfs in the vein of gnomes and trolls, and they're not just simply humans with dwarfism, which could have led to harmful stereotypes. And I love that I can immediately distinguish Grumpy, Doc, and Dopey, and their appearances are like a more grounded version of their animated counterparts. Their costumes are also very fitting, and a sigh of relief after seeing how cheap and garish the costumes of the bandits are. So yeah, the character design absolutely delivered. However, even though this is a pixelated still wide shot, the CGI is absolutely atrocious, and I hope they take the extra year of post-production to really polish the execution of the designs, because if they look this bad in a still image of this nature, they will absolutely be detrimental to the film if they look wonky throughout. Poor visual effects have hindered Disney live-action films in the past and completely cheapened their ambiance, so I honestly don't have much faith that these guys will look any better, but fingers crossed they figure it out. Perhaps they should have just used makeup effects. Another concern I have is that, while I love that the dwarfs are of the mythical, fantastical variety, 
these are still roles designed for little people. It's one of the few instances where little people are given the opportunity to shine in major roles. So I'm wondering if little people are actually playing these roles, even in motion capture, or if average height actors are portraying full CGI creations. I would not like that. Though at least they seem to have one little person in the bandits group as to distinguish an actual little person from a mythical dwarf. Okay, so yeah, looking at this image, my overall impression is a slight sigh of relief. It does exude a magical, whimsical, fantastical quality that I don't think we've seen since Cinderella. The set design is pitch perfect, exactly the fairy tale look I was hoping for, and while I still don't think the approach they went with for Snow White's dress um, is good, and I highly doubt I ever will like it, uh, it looks much less cheap and garish here than what we had seen before, so yeah, I like this image. The CGI on the dwarfs is the area where I am hesitant. And yeah, while this image helps to relieve my main concern with the film, I still remain skeptical of many other factors, including the handling of the romantic aspects, the function of the love interest, the approach to true love's kiss, the potential exclusion of certain songs, and Gal Gadot's performance as the evil queen, because she's just not good at acting at all. But if this image did anything, it was to give me a reality check into not jumping to conclusions too quickly, but I feel like there are many concerns here that are valid, so that's all I have to say, and you know I never know how to end these things, so bye, I love you, but not all of you, okay, bye! <laughs>